sewing machine heaven. We had a, uh, I'm making, making a few sewing machine videos here, and I saw someone where they were trying to explain how a sewing machine works with a demonstration. So I figured I'd do one too, and uh, show with my oldest machine, I believe this is. I'm not sure, even sure what year this is. Maybe someone can comment and tell me what year this is. I know, I could ask someone. I know who to ask to find out, but this is a uh, vibrating or vertical shuttle bobbin, they call it. And uh, what this is, is you can see this little there. This doesn't have the bobbin plates on it here. Let me zoom in a little so we can see this. This mechanism down here that moves back and forth, you can see this. This is the bobbin. And what the bobbin is, is it's one of these little things like this. So there's a little spool of thread. And you can pull this out. This is called the vibrating bobbin. It just sits in here. Of course, my top thread's wrapped around it right now, the needle thread. And inside here is the little bobbin. And the thread comes, you loop the thread through this notch here and pull it up around through till it comes out here. And you can adjust the tension on this with this little screw here. But that just lays in that little tray in there and flops back and forth and it gets push back and forth and you can see the side here is very very smooth and what that does is it it lays against this curved side the, this curved side sorry it blocked the light there so you couldn't quite see that and what this does is this rides back and forth in this little shuttle thing down here the other thing I gotta explain is this is a sewing machine needle you can see this side has a groove on it and there's a little hole that the, that the thread goes through. Now on the back side of that needle, if we turn that around, you can see there's a little bit of a concave there right above where the hole is. Now that little concave area, that's where the needle hook passes through and grabs the thread out and pulls it through. See a little flat spot there? That little flat spot is right where the, the hook will go through after the needle comes down through the material, the hook will come by and the thread that's sticking up after it's you know dragged down through the material will get caught by the hook. Now in this the shuttle bobbin or the, the bobbin here this is the hook right here. This little hook will slide around in this in this uh, little groove over here and when the hook comes down, now this bobbin thread here, that's coming out of our bobbin. And then our needle, now the needle thread is going to come just a little bit here. Where is it? Okay, now what's going to happen? Our needle is going to come down from the top. Okay, now the is turning. It's on return. You can see the, the, the needle down here, right there, where the little red... Let me get the thread out of the way so you can see it. That, that little point down there, that is our needle. Now the bobbin's going to swing back as the needle comes down. Now as the needle just starts to come up, can you see that little hook? See that little loop of thread coming off of down there? That little loop of thread is going to get caught by that hook as the hook by. So the hook is going to come by and grab that needle thread and pull it around that whole bobbin. See that thread there? Slide over that needle bobbin right there. That's that's the needle thread. Now as that bobbin rides through and see it's gonna leave trail that bobbin thread off and see there's the loop. I'm gonna pull that back up. Now the machine has the the uh, bar on the side over here which pulls the thread back up. So as the needle comes up, it yanks the thread back up, and if there was a piece of material on top of here, there would be a stitch on the bottom of that. 
then the carrier goes back again and you can see it there it's catching the second loop that's another stitch and again the th gets dragged over the bob it just sits in the tray there's a little space at the back and then it gets yanked out of there as it comes down and then a stitch and there you go that's how that's how a sewing machine works and that wall bobbin actually